Hello, it's Jim Hutchins for the Jerusalem Connection Truth Report for this week. As we continue to consider the name of our God, exalt his name, based upon David's invitation to us, oh, magnify Yahweh with me, let us exalt his name together. It's well to remember, I mentioned this before, it's well to remember that <coughs> Yahweh is referred to some 6,000 times in the Hebrew text in the Old Testament, the Hebrew Bible. Uh, when the uh, Jewish rabbis formed the Septuagint, they translated the Old Testament Hebrew into New Testament, what we call, it's Koine Greek, but translated into Greek. And they translated the name Yahweh into a kurios, which means Lord. Translated the name into a title. And they did that in order to avoid uh, desecrating the name of Yahweh. But uh, <clears throat> the scriptures indicate that this is a name that to, that's to be universally acknowledged, magnified, and glorified. And we want to do that. And I think it's uh, critical when we come to a passage in the New Testament, I should say the vast number of times where kurios, or Lord, is identified with Jesus it is really the, the uh, New Testament rendering of Yahweh. And there are a couple of passages that are very clear on this. For example, 1 Corinthians chapter 12 and verse 3 says this, No one, absolutely no one, no one can say Jesus is, and the translation is Lord, except by the Holy Spirit. No one can say that title. But what that is, is the Greek word kurios, which is the Old Testament translation of Yahweh. So what is really being said here is, no one uh, can say that Jesus is Yahweh unless he is enabled, unless he's empowered by the Holy Spirit of God. He is recognized as Yahweh of the That's his name. God says in Philippians chapter 2, we've... We've uh, dealt with this before. God has highly exalted Jesus and given him a name that is above every name. And the name that was bestowed upon him, the name that he gave him that was above every name, is the name of Yahweh. And so Jesus is acknowledged as Yahweh as the glory, to, to the glory of God. Philippians 2, 11 and following. Well, this is like a passage that Paul writes in uh, Romans chapter 10, verses 9 and 10, where he says this. And this is critical. If you confess with your mouth, Jesus is Lord. That's the New Testament English translation. But it's really kurios, which once again is the uh, Greek translation of the Hebrew Yahweh. So it should read, if you confess Jesus as Yahweh, and you believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. That's how critical our understanding of who Jesus is. It's involved in our very salvation experience. If you confess with your mouth Jesus is Yahweh and believe in your heart God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. That's pretty important. And equally important, and I go back to this passage in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 3, if you can say, if you can confess Jesus is Yahweh, you do so by the Holy Spirit. You are you have been empowered by the Holy Spirit. Can you confess that Jesus is Yahweh? If you can, you have been moved and empowered by God's Holy Spirit. And that's the truth. <laughs>